My name is Elizabeth Philippe. For six years, I've been traveling the world from two to three countries per month. Then I stopped because I had baby Wolfie. But after some life problems, I became a single mom when my baby Wolfie was only two months. Life is good, we're 100% of the time together. She's amazing! But I never felt like home in Canada. I'm not a winter girl and Wolfie either. My dream has always been to raise my kids in the beautiful country of Costa Rica and I'm now officially realizing it. So stay tuned because this is happening! Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> that was too much. Um, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, totally leaving. May 10th, we all already have everything booked, all the papers done. We're leaving on May 10th for Costa Rica. This is gonna be our country where we're gonna li live. Uh, we're not coming back. We're going there to stay, to buy a house. And that's literally my life dream <laughs> happening at the moment. And I'm gonna explain you everything. Let's get in this video now. This is probably not part of a vlog, but I'll still put it inside because tonight Wolfie decided to walk. see the house is so clean and so empty oh my gosh it has never been like that I swear that's for a very special reason um, Wolfie and I are officially moving to Costa Rica it is happening I'm gonna explain you everything in this video <laughs> hopefully I don't miss out on something I had a really emotional day because we've been taking the photos to put the house on sale so our house or home it's going to be on sale. It's more our house, I would say, because we never really felt home while we were here. I'm gonna explain it better, but yeah, it's finally happening, finally the moment. It's a plan I've had for three years, and now it's happening. We're gonna live in a dream country, my baby girl. <laughs> to be honest, I was... Don't kill the plan to be... No, the plan. I just wanted this to be cute. Um, I had to open the lights because it's getting dark in here. And I was planning to do this video while doing Wolfie's room, but yeah, she's very excited right now. And I have nobody to help me with Wolfie. So I guess I have to hold her in my arm for the moment. Because as I just showed you, we took the photos today for the house and we had to remove all of her you know she had like her play playroom kind of we had to remove everything oh do pee so now there's like nowhere i can put her and just do my video so i'm gonna have to hold her all along uh but that's fine i love her i've been holding her the whole day we slept together it was so cool just love it I don't even know where to start because I feel like there's just so many things to answer and it's like, oh my gosh, it has been such a mess. I know you guys are probably very confused on what's going on, like wasn't she building a house? Was she moving to Mexico? Like, What has been going on? I have to admit in the past like six, seven months, it has been a lot in my life and a lot of confusion just in general. Um, I. I was just on a rush to leave from Canada, but a bit like on every side. But I'm gonna go in order and tell you all of the stories, like everything that happened to make sure that I don't forget about anything. So it all started when I was 18 or 19, something like that. I, <laughs> I bought my first condo and my dad was so proud of me because he was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good investment because you know when you rent, you like give your money to someone else but when you buy it, it's like an investment for the future. I sold it after less than a year because I 
really <laughs> I got this condo because I wanted to have a dog um, and just to let you know it's a condo with a backyard so it's not a condo it's like a townhouse I would say it had a backyard and I was super happy about it because I could have like a dog and I had my little Roycey baby and I was so happy about it but I wanted to put fences on the yard and then the city said no actually there was fences but they didn't want us to close it so I wanted to close it so that the dog can leave and they said no and they were like oh it's not possible to do with this type of habitations so I was like oh yeah cool I wish I knew that before I really wanted to have a backyard on which I wouldn't have to put my dog on the leash all the time so then yeah I sold my condo less than a year after getting it and I was looking for a house or a lot to build a house and I had been looking for a year but I couldn't find the perfect spot like the perfect place and finally after a year I was like I really love the neighborhood of my parents uh, I lived there for five years and it was like a really great neighborhood just perfect for everything there's like a no don't eat the flowers you don't eat the flowers See, I have to look at her every single second of my life. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. That's what happens when you're a single mom, okay? <laughs> Everything that happens in your life has to be with your baby. And I don't want to bring her, I was talking about the daycare, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this neighborhood because it has a daycare and school, but I don't even want to bring Wolfie to a daycare. So I feel like I'm so lucky that out of subject. Sorry about that. But I feel that being an influencer is... is such a blessing when you have a baby just because you can literally spend every day with your baby because your work is kind of at home and to do like activities and cool stuff Ooh. so i'm just really blessed to have this job to be honest i'm so happy about what i'm doing because because of that i can stay with doopy do all the time i can breastfeed her for a really long time and it's just a blessing being and have fun at the same time but whatever this is out of subject um so yeah it's just a really cool neighborhood so i was like oh i'm gonna move here and then when my parents knew about it they were like oh we're gonna move too because they had a big house because we were three kids but we all moved out of the house so they were like just two parents now with like so many bedrooms so they were like we want something smaller because it's too big so we're gonna live next to you buy a lot next to you and we're gonna build a house one next to the other because it's just gonna be so cool and i was so into it so happy about it we wanted to have like a common backyard to have like something really big but finally they don't really like my dogs so it's not happening having my parents next door is such a blessing and even more when i have a baby this is something i'm really gonna miss uh, but i'm gonna talk about it later when i'm I'm gonna talk about the Costa Rica plan. That was really like such a blessing. Doopy, don't break the plant. We love the plant. We don't break them. When we're gonna be in Costa Rica, I'm gonna show you how to take care of plants. We're gonna have so many flowers in the backyard and so many fruits. Oh, we. We're gonna eat the fruit from our plants. Oh, we. Oh, we. Oh, we. And then you're gonna be able to take things in the trees and to eat them, but not right now. Okay, where was I in this story? I don't even know where I was. Yeah, so that's when I built my house, but I was, I was excited about the project, but I also never ever, even while I was building the house, I was not even feeling like, oh, this is home, like this is gonna be home. Do me. I knew it was kind of, I don't know, I had, I always, even at my condo, I always had this kind of feeling of, this is gonna be my house, but maybe not my home. So while I was, so yeah, I just never felt like that was gonna be home. I don't know, I always had this feeling. When I was having my first condo, when I had this house while I was building it, I always had this feeling and that was just so, so bad um not so bad but just i was never excited enough which felt kind of weird because i feel like i'm a very excited and enthusiastic person in life in general about every project which is why like most of the project that i start 
ends up like being super cool, super amazing. This is something I'm proud of because I put so much time and energy and I'm so positive and enthusiastic about every project that I do. But the home house thing here was never something that excited me enough. So while I was building this house, I would never come during the time they were building, even though I live like 10 minutes from here. And when they were asking me like, oh, what do you want for your kitchen? What do you want for this, for that? I wouldn't even look on Pinterest. I wouldn't even check on anything. I would just say, oh, put white so that if I don't like the decor anymore, I'm gonna be able to change it. And my answer was always, oh, just put white. I don't have time. I don't have time, just put white. I don't have time. And it was always like that. The only thing I said was, I want a lot of windows. And the only thing I chose was uh, the marble here and the, the black marble in the bathroom. And that's pretty much the only thing that I chose. All of the rest was like me saying, just put all white. And then <laughs> that's what comes out of it, it's all white. <laughs> so this is an explanation of why my house is all white. It's not because I like the all white style, it's really because I... Hello Racy! Racy wants to come in, wait a second. But it's really just because I had no interest, I guess, in choosing what I was gonna put in the house because I... I don't know... I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have Racy inside. Don't eat the flower. You don't eat the flower. No, 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 you don't eat. Doopy, Doopy, give me the flower. Give me. Oui, Luna, muy mon amour. Te amo, I love you. Te amo, Luna, te amo. So that's what happened when I built this house and I never felt home since then. I've talked about it a lot in my stories. Like, I'm never able to decorate. Even though like I love decorations in general, like home sense is my passion and when I see like I think I have a good taste in the house suit, I mean, maybe not. But I'm really passionate about it. But this house, like I don't know, I was never excited enough. I really have no idea what's that feeling. Um, but now I was building my next house and I was still not that excited about it and I was still like I still felt like there was kind of a problem or something I don't know why um but also like in between I went to my I'm gonna explain the Mexico thing now just to go in time uh in order of time when I was went to Mexico that was a really rushed trip because of things that have happened that I can't talk about um, and I can't tell the details but we had like a, a passport and express for Wolfie uh, we needed to leave the country and <laughs> it was really it. like people were like oh you could have stayed in Canada to, to for that but it was really a matter of like oh we want to leave the country this way like, like it felt like no one could I mean not no one but the, the thing that was happening could not follow us there Wh whatever i can't talk about it yeah that's why we went to mexico and when i was there i was supposed to stay there for a month because the trial was a month later but then it was pushed and pushed and pushed again so at one point i realized that it would probably be pushed for a very long time and it's still pushed at the moment so it's been a while it was supposed to be on early december and finally like we're yeah, waiting for it so i went to mexico and while i was there it was not a matter of like oh i want to live there it was super cool i would love to live in cabo but it was just an urgency of oh no 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 at that moment it was not a matter of like oh i really want to live in cabo like i felt so much in love with cabo i was really in love with cabo but as i said i feel like this was more a cool trip destination to me Maybe not like the place I wanted to live um, for some reason. So when I said like, oh, I want to move to Cabo, it was just because I really did not want to come back to Canada. So I was like, I better off just buy a house here. Luna, Luna. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, I better off just buy a house here because I was missing the dogs so much. Um, that was like the most difficult part, like missing my family, but also my dogs and knowing that they were at home with my friend and that I was still not coming back. So I felt like, oh, if I buy a house, I'm gonna be able to have my dogs coming at least. And because you can't have your dogs in a rental, <laughs> it's a bit complicated. And it's kind of complicated also to bring your dogs. So I wouldn't want to 
do it like several times, like bring them and then go back and blah blah blah. That would just be over a mess. Pretty much why I wanted a house so bad in Mexico, I was really on the rush. But then like I visited houses, I didn't find like the rare pearl that I was looking for. I didn't feel totally in love with one house. And I also had this feeling again of like, this is probably not the right thing to do. Um, I don't know. So that's when I decided, okay, finally, I really need to come back home. This is like a no choice thing, but I'm gonna move place because this house reminds me just of so many bad stuff and I have so many memories in here. It's just super weird. So I just really felt like it was time to move. I never had amazing memories in here. Like I don't think it even happened except having Wolfie, that's pretty much it. It was just a rush of I will be moving and my sister wanted to move too so we were like oh we're gonna move next to each other and it was all over the plan. Uh, we wanted to move like the tree house one next to each other and that would have been so amazing. But finally, first of all, I started feeling like I was doing the plans for this new house and I started feeling kind of not excited again, not excited enough feeling like I was still not doing the right thing, feeling that here wasn't home. And there's also like a feeling I have here, of like this is just not home. Um, I don't know, I don't really like how the system is um, here and the values of the system. I feel like going to a country that is really all about its people and its planet even more, is more something I'm looking into. I don't know, I don't want to bash anyone, I feel like it's just different and there's some some really good things about our place, some really good things about Costa Rica, some really bad here and some really good here, but I feel like the, the really good and really bad in Costa Rica matches more with me. This is only it. Um, and yes, I've made all of the researches uh, when I was supposed to move there like three years ago. So yeah, I was still feeling like I was not doing the right thing. But the thing that really made my decision official is when, first of all, I wanted to build a house just a bit bigger than this one, not too much. And the price, like how the market is so bad in Canada right now, it's so bad, it grew so much. I built this house like two, three years ago and I wanted to build something very similar and it's literally like twice the price with no like the price that I got from the builder which is the same builder in the same neighborhood it was like twice the price approx for a house a bit bigger but with no extra yet so there was still no extra in this house in this house I have so many extras so I was like oh my gosh imagine like the dogs are playing, I don't know if you can hear them and if it's annoying, but if it's the case, I'm sorry about that, but it's still their house and I'm gonna let them play, I'm sorry about it. But yeah, the price was so bad, so I was a bit shocked about it, but also like the thing that happened is that finally, like after we've said for so long that we wanted to make sure that we would have like tree lots next to each other, um, the builder did not have tree lots next to each other anymore so my dad decided like oh I'm not moving anymore like if it's not to be next to each other like I'm just gonna keep my house and my sister is still building and for me I would have been like it's not bad like I would have been like two streets away which is not bad also but it was just kind of uh, I don't know like everything was planned and very clear but then finally last minute it was like oh finally like we can do it so it just felt kind of off and then when I was receiving the prices for the house I was like oh my gosh and I went back because for years years I never stopped never happened every single night before going to sleep. It's been three years, I swear to God, I keep doing it. I go see new listings on houses in Costa Rica. I keep doing it, never stop. And so many houses have dropped price recently. Like for example, there was one house that we, we were hesitating between two houses back then, three years ago, and one of it is still on sale and it's 200K less expensive than it was. Um, three years ago so that's like really good um, 
So the market seems to be really good there right now, tell me if I'm wrong, but I've been really looking and that's how it comes off to me. So I was still looking at houses there and comparing like the price of what it would be like to build a house here, here versus like having a house there and it's not comparable. <laughs> like you have an ocean view, like super beautiful, while here I have a, my neighbor view and winter and just, you know, it's very different. It's not the same vibe, but I also like want to have a big lot there and plant my own trees with like fruits and it's just super exciting for us. So that's basically how it all happened. I feel like this video might be getting very long and I know you guys have still a lot of questions. So maybe I'm gonna do it in two videos, but the next one will be more of a Q&A so then I can answer like most of it. So ask me in the comments now uh, all the questions you wanna know and I'm gonna answer as many of them. The most asked ones, I'm gonna answer them. Um, just ask me any questions and in the next video I'm gonna answer all of the questions but that was the story uh, in order of like everything that happened in the past years the next videos will be more like now it was more of a sit down thing but the next video will be finishing Wolfie's room which is what I was supposed to do right now but I really don't have energy um, and I know it's gonna be a lot like very emotional. I didn't put makeup today because I was planning to do that, but I know I'm gonna cry when I'm gonna do it because her room was like, don't eat it. Her room was such a dream for me. So <laughs> I just really wanna finish it. <laughs> That's bad. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bizu. I'm currently editing the video and I'm realizing that most questions I haven't answered. <laughs> like I, went really in details in the reason why I'm leaving and everything that happened in the past years but I completely forgot about everything that is going on while I'm going there so it's pretty much going to be in the next video in the Q&A but just to let you know the very biggest question that I got all the time is are you still building your house here and I forgot to say that and that's kind of part of the story I still am like am I still building I might not be building this house um because the market is super bad right now but i'll probably have two residences um so i'll probably have one in quebec and one in costa rica the only thing is that because of it i can do some back and forth so i'm gonna focus on costa rica right now and as soon as is over and we're able to travel i'll probably start having both so i hope this answers the question and yeah love you